Hello, I'm Luke Tenza. This is Avery. This is Josh. Welcome to the All Elite Sports Talk Show. And today we are going to be discussing a topic that has been on our minds lately. What do we think the Warriors are going to be like in five years? Um, in five years, I think they won't have uh, Steph anymore. I think Kuli will be retired. And um, I think... I think they would. They will stay on the. Uh, they'll win about half of their games. I don't think they'll have the best record. I I think they'll just be in like an average team. I, I I think the Warriors are gonna be older. They're not gonna be as good. they uh, and I and I don't think they're gonna be a playoff contender. Okay, we have our stuff here. In my opinion, I don't think they're going to be the same. I don't think they're going to be good. I don't think they're going to have Steph anymore. They're not going to have Clay, definitely, with his stuff going on. And as Draymond Green might be suspended for life by that time. So it's really not too sure about how this is going to go. So this is just something that's been on lately. So um, without further ado, oh. wait. Oh, we got some breaking news. Let's see, we have just got breaking news that Stephen Curry requests to a trade to the Brooklyn Nets so he can play with his brother Seth Curry. This is just revolutionary news. They're trading him to the Brooklyn Nets. Maybe this is a makeup for like Kevin Durant or something. I'm not even sure. I can't get my thoughts out of my head except I am, and I'm talking too fast. Um, okay. okay. So let's. So Steph Curry is. Requesting a trade from his home, his fans that he's built up for years and years of playing, and it's just I I have no words. Maybe this is why they're planning to trade Kevin Durant because they knew this was happening. Maybe someone just built a time machine, went into the future, and said Steph Curry's gonna want to play with us immediately put, let Kevin Durant off the team. Avery, what are your thoughts on this? I think that it was a terrible trade for Brooklyn. I don't think that, uh, I think the Nets just made, uh, um, I mean the um, Warriors just made a huge mistake. I don't think the um, Warriors are going to ever be the same without Steph Curry. Um, think of, okay, what do you think? I, the, the Nets would have to would have to put up so many, so many like draft picks and players in order to get Steph Curry. He Steph Curry is top, top ten of all time, and so they would have to put a bunch. Oh no! Cause you know how Steph Curry and think of the dynamic duo of Steph Curry, Jalen Brown, and Derek White. Think of how good they could be together. This is the other thing. Steph Curry has this unnatural ability to just go, and the ball goes in, which every man on that roster can do. So this is going to be like revolutionary for the Brooklyn Nets and the Warriors. The Warriors are going to suck for the rest of time, and that's okay. Okay. So then. No, I don't think they'll they'll be bad for the rest of time because they must get so many draft picks and stuff and some fresh new players. None of them are going to be good. The the thing is, the Nets are now a trading hotspot because they are in the trade with the Celtics. They will be giving, they will, they're trying to give Kevin Durant to the Celtics for a bunch for draft picks, Derek White, and see, I don't get how you, I don't get how you guys are so calm about this. Steph Curry's going to the Brooklyn Nets just makes me want to feel like Ric Flair and just yell "woo" at the top of my lungs. But here's the problem: we're inside. That's not appropriate. So from now on, <laughs> Steph Curry is no longer going to be with the um with, with the Warriors, and that's and, and Clay's going to need to play good and. I said about Draymond Green, who knows? He's either going to be suspended indefinitely or retire before this happens. So, um, 
I don't know, as we were, we were literally just talking about the Warriors, and we were saying how they were going to suck for the rest of time if they left Steph Curry. And look at Steph Curry. Yeah, the, they have draft picks, but nobody's going to come out like Steph Curry did. Nobody's in college right now that could even keep up with Steph Curry in his shooting game. He is the greatest player to ever shoot. Huh? And I'm going to tell you something. I bet you just made at least 58,000 people just pass out. Right as we just said that. I think the trade of Steph will be will be good for maximum of four years because maximum of four years Steph is gonna retire probably. Yeah. And here's another thing. His brother is is not as good of a shooter as he is, but he's very good. I, I, I think I think that the Nets are gonna are, are gonna be like the Warriors for the next two two three years till Steph Curry retired, maybe even one year. Um, I think that um, that, that that's a really um, tough trade for um, the Warriors that want to get a younger team, Durant a little bit younger. Um, they, 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 they want um, a, a younger, stronger team. Okay, so you heard this here. Um, I think we ran out of thoughts at this point. So we'll see you later. I'm Luke Tenza. He's Avery. He's Josh. Tune into the All Elite Talk Show, Talk Sports, tomorrow.